All right, so I started this test on April 9th, and it's the galvanic corrosion test of H1 versus H2. And currently now, it is May 7th, so it's almost been a month. I'm just gonna stop the test now. I don't know if I actually got any results showing which steel's better at, at corrosion resistance, but we'll just go through it now and see. Um, so before I pull it out, I have not, not, have not taken this apart and, and looked at it, so we'll do that together. But just to show you how it looks, I'll show you how the water looks. There's a dead uh, spider in there. And so I'll show you something. There is rust on this, but I'll, I'll put up a video of a past test. So if you see where the, the rust seems to start, where the handle meets the blade, so that actually showed up a little bit in a past test I had, and that is a uh, crevice corrosion. So part of the reason I did, and it was pointed out by, by somebody um, in comments, part of the reason I did that crevice corrosion test was to see if uh, if my results were getting, the, the results that I was getting were crevice corrosion or uh, galvanic corrosion. So I had, to, I had to differentiate that. This is, what you see there is crevice corrosion. So, okay, so now let's just, Let's just take it apart then, I guess, and see. And there is some on the blade on the, for the H2, but that could be that could be some of the rust that's coming off of there. So I would want to see, for, for a definitive answer, I would want to see rust in between here and maybe on the edges of the rubber band. So we'll see. I'll just pull this apart. I don't see anything. There's that rust there. Okay, we'll take a look at it a little bit better. Something up there. And we'll take a look that look at that too in a second. So Okay, this was the side that was touching it. And yeah, I don't... Alright, let's look at this one. That could just be salt with rust on the end there. I will wipe this down in a second. I just want to take a look at everything. I don't want to wipe down or wipe away any rust. It might be there. All right, so I don't see anything on this. Except on the tip there. And once again, I'll do a, I'll do a completely turn around on this. Hmm. You see, the rust even comes out on this side. All right, so I'll wipe down just the blade. I'm gonna leave all this, uh, so let's see. Okay. Alright, so just just a general wipe down. Yeah, I don't really see much of anything. There is there is a spot on the edge itself here. There's discoloration there, but 
that could be that this just seeped over. So that's the problem. This looks like, because there was no contact there, this looks like just, just rust from this blade came down and got it there. And then that's what, what's on this side too. But where they made contact, there's like nothing. Yeah, nothing. All right. And nothing on the edges too. All right. Now that I wiped down this one, I don't see anything either. There is that. Which I don't know what to make of that. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna say this is inconclusive. There's something for certain, and that is that uh, no matter what I do, or if I make anything, it will never be rust proof because even H1 is is rusting. So, so far out of the tests I've done, H1 has been the most corrosive resistant steel. And now it seems to be the same as as H2. Both of these seem to be similar or, or the same. I can't, there isn't, there isn't like a conclusive um, result. So I can actually say that. But even H1 has rusted. And it's because of... Um, crevice corrosion um like i said i'll put that video in the end i'll show you where there's like a slight spot and now because i think it's just because i left it so much longer than before that spot has just grown to be like just a crazy amount of rust yeah okay all right if i'm missing anything that's what i'm trying to like cover as much as i can or show you as much as i can because in case there's some, there might be something i'm missing or Somebody who knows more about this stuff than I do might spot something that I'm not spotting. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, inconclusive. So, so far, these two steels are the same to me in terms of corrosion resistant resistance. Um, H1 so far has beaten H2 in, in edge retention, but... I still have to sharpen this one more time. I'll sharpen it again. I try to I try to take away as much material as I could while sharpening it uh, to to get rid of the the factory. Sometimes the factory edge um, burns up the gets gets the edge a little bit too hot, and it's a little bit um, I don't want to say crappy. Well, it's it's not as good as if you 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 take that that material away a little bit. All right. So yeah. Okay. Any questions or suggestions? Let me know. All right. Bye. So, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot more, not more rust on this thing. And for some reason, there's rust here where there's no contact, which is kind of weird.